So see, I've been working with recently, we've been talking about stress and how stress is something we obviously we all experience over our life, but really trying to truly understand where the stress comes from in our lives and trying, of course, to minimize that stress at any one point, because we don't want that much stress in lives. Who wants to be stressed all the time? And he came up with a great, great quote, actually from Jeff Bezos, um, where stress comes from ignoring the things you shouldn't be ignoring. And that really drove our conversation forward because we started to look at the things that this person was ignoring. And when we started to uncover the things that they were ignoring, we started to uncover the places where stress was. So the things that they were tolerating or putting up with or not dealing with or that were somehow up in the air or not remedied or there was no plan for them were the things that were causing the most stress. Be that particular people you're not dealing with, knowing things you should really be dealing with, situations you should be really dealing with. In essence, not really putting your head in the sand, but choosing just to not look at something directly, trying to ignore it and hoping that it'll go away, not having that courage to, in essence, to get to that point where you're looking at it. And what's interesting is when we look at the things you need to do to overcome stress, it does take courage for you to get there. And what's interesting is when you look at the word courage, it comes from the Latin root of core, meaning heart. And that kind of said a lot, really, because if you think about it, stress can come from our subconscious, from our brain, but really the courage we need to do something, in essence, comes from our heart or something deeper inside. And for us to be looking at dealing with stress, it takes courage for us to address these things that we have been ignoring, we have been putting up, that we haven't, haven't got resolution, they're just floating out. there, And that takes courage for us to do that. And it can often seem quite overwhelming when there are probably tens, hundreds of these in our lives at any one point. But what it takes, number one, is just to really acknowledge the fact that these things that are out there, make a list of them. That's the place to start. Get them out of your head onto a piece of paper. And then, it, obviously, it's not about tackling all of them in one go, but bit by bit, knocking that list off, sharing that list with people, senior management team, a coach, a partner, whoever that might be, who is relevant to help you to think through some of these things. And in sharing that, getting that out of your head, out of your subconscious, into the real world, tangibly on a piece of paper or a to-do list, and then talking about it is a place where you can start to get to where, again, that isn't unresolved. You're on the place or on the start of a journey to resolving that. The resolution's there. You're no longer ignoring it because the energy involved in ignoring something's high. Energy involved in not looking at a problem is much harder than just thinking, yeah, I should sort that. I'm put that on the list. I'm going to deal with that you know, deal with that at a later date. I'm going to talk to somebody about that. So again, I'm going to ask you that question. What are you ignoring? What are the steps you need to take to even acknowledge that there's something there? Because again, anything that's stressful in your life is something that you are ignoring. Bring it out there. Put it on the list. Share it with somebody. Share it with me. Just drop me an email. I'd love to hear from you. You don't need to be ignoring these things. And ignoring them, you're creating more stress. Do yourself a favour. Make a list. Start doing these things. Thanks very much.